Hey, it's Janus, and welcome to another Ionic tutorial. Uh, today we will take a look at Ionic lazy loading. So, Ionic 3, the version 3, introduced uh, lazy loading, and let's try it out. Let's take uh, an existing Ionic application and try to convert some pages in this application to be lazily loaded. Uh, we will be working with this Ionic 2 Mosum app, uh, which you can find at this URL. So, uh, Ionic 2 Mosum, you can write it in the GitHub. And I fork this repo and run it with Ionic Surf in the command line. So, I open it up. This is the structure and I run the Ionic Surf. So, this is our application. It shows you the weather. Uh, first time you launch the application, you need to set the home uh, town. So I set my hometown. And now in this application, we have these settings. This is another page. And let's try uh, to lazily load these settings. So for now, everything is loaded in the first um, load. So if I refresh the page, I selected the JS files and you can see this main.js, everything is loaded here, the whole application, all the pages, everything. And we will try to lazy lo load these settings. So to get started with lazy loading, let's open up our code editor, go under source, pages and settings. So here we have our settings page. And first thing we need to do is to add the settings module. So we will uh, replace our settings in app module with the settings module. So settings .yes. And now I will take some boilerplate code for the module, like here. Um, and I will change this account page to settings page. Like this I found all the account page set the settings page and correct the pad so we are declaring new uh, settings page module class with the ng model decorator we are declaring the settings page here under declarations and also under entry component uh, and then under imports we are uh, calling the Ionic page model dot for child and we are passing the settings page. This is a structure for our page to be lazily loaded. Like this. And then the second thing we need to do is to go to the TS file of the page. And here above the component decorator we need to add another decorator. Ionic page. Like this and we import it. So this Ionic page handles registering and displaying specific pages uh, based on URLs. So this Ionic page decorator will create a link to this settings page when we will call it with a string. Uh, you will see later. So this is it for the settings. And now what I like to do when I, I am converting to the lazily loaded pages, I just take this settings page, I open the search with Ctrl, Shift and F, and I search for everything um, containing settings page. So, like you would uh, know, in app component.ts, we are, we have this settings page. So we have this um, pages navigation um, on the left, and here is the settings. We need to convert this to be a string so it will be lazily loaded now it's like injected from this settings page settings so we are deleting this import and then under settings we are just putting like this in a string parenthesis and saving uh, the next thing is uh, in app module so here we are also, so the normal way is to import, declare all uh, the pages in the app module, but we don't need to do this because we will lazily load it in our own settings module. So we delete the settings page and all the declarations in uh, declarations in entry component. 
Ready? Settings page and in under entry components under installed. Now our Ionic build process will rebuild our app and uh, we don't need to stop it and start it because uh, we have this build process with deep links. This will uh, figure out all the lazy loading stuff. Now we removed it from app component, the app module. We have this separate settings module and we added the Ionic page decorator. Now let's try it. So our app, I will just refresh it. We have this main.js and now when we go to the settings page, it should load its own chunk and you can see one.main.js. Um, the webpack will uh, separate it in, into chunks and this is loaded. So this is lazily loaded. This page is loaded lazily. 